Hello friends, today we want to talk about a mitzvah that includes the entire Torah. A mitzvah that includes the entire Torah? Yes. This mitzvah is called, don't corrupt, because think about it in order not to corrupt your body, this mitzvah forces you to eat, so as not to corrupt your sperm, this mitzvah obliges you to multiply. In order not to corrupt, you command to do things, and on the other hand, every crime you can imagine, a real crime, has some form of corruption. Either a corruption of the morals or a corruption of our feeling, of the experience, of our peace, for example a person comes and hits his friend, or steals from him, he loses his peace, his ease, he loses the good experience he had, he will feel sorrow or pain. His pleasant experience is lost, and it is replaced by an unpleasant experience. Or for example, killing, murder, murder of animals, meat, eggs, all these things, the deprivation of life, is corruption. You take a thing that should live and you corrupt it, turn it into a dead body, an omelet, or whatever. I know this point gives us a new perspective on things. Those who came from a religious home can say, What? In religion I have never heard of an offense to eat an omelet, suddenly now you are telling me that eating an omelet is an offense, what? Am I spoiling the egg instead of it being a chick? So I know this is a new point of view, I learned the creators will from observing the laws of nature, an egg also contains cholesterol and animal protein that can cause diseases and I have been learning not from scriptures but from the laws of nature for a long time. You too, can do your own calculation. Are the laws of nature just determined? Did the creator just create the laws of nature for nothing? And if there is a reason for the laws of nature, let's not ignore them. But what is behind the things? Why are there so many anti-corruption laws? You destroy wood, burn it, you get suffocating gas, heat, burns, pain, and even global warming or death? Why did he make so many laws against corruption? Chemicals? Side effects, environmental damage. Why? Because it turns out that the Creator's will, meaning the laws of nature which are the Creator's will, must be realized in creatures, and if there are no creatures there are no laws of nature, and if there are no laws of nature there is no will of the Creator. For example, a law should be drawn towards the ground, this law is fulfilled in fortifications. That is to say, if there were no creatures to uphold the laws of nature, if all were corrupt, then there would be no obedience to the laws, no expression of the Creator's will. So that's why He doesn't want there to be corruption. Because if you corrupt, then the same corrupted thing no longer upholds the laws and then it does not express the Creator's will, and a world where the Creator's will is not expressed is a world without purpose and full of chaos. Don't forget to give a like. In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena, and we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. So if you are interested in this type of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Partners for this video, Writing in Google Slides, translated by Google Translate, character dubbing, Emma's voice, Mohiro.LA, narration, Microsoft Azure TTS, voice recording and editing, Audacity, illustrations, Pexels.com, YouTube.com, Istoff.com, video editing software, VideoPad, there is no copyright on this content and any beneficial use may be made of it. I was Anna from Microsoft Azure.